Good afternoon, good night, whatever you see in this, yeah. Child, okay, so today I'm just another hair project. I've been loving these hair projects. I've been loving that y'all have been in tune with my hair projects and y'all are helping me pick my hair projects. Be sure that you follow my Instagram at it's glam by Ty so that y'all can join the fam. Like y'all help me out so much. So today's video is on um, another hair project that I had put on my Instagram. And I put it, it, whatever goes on my Instagram goes on my Facebook. So I put it on both. Now, both sides voted this color, okay? Both of y'all. Now, it was between pink and like a gray silver, like a platinum gray silver, whatever. Y'all had me like stuck on pink. Everybody was on pink, 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 pink. And I was just like, oh, okay, I, I, I get it. Y'all want to see pink. But my heart was set on silver. And I'm like, ugh. So I, I left it on there all night. I'll put the results here and everything. And y'all that wanted gray silver, y'all pulled through for it, bitch, because y'all knew exactly what I wanted to do already. So of course I'm gonna give y'all the pink. That's not gonna go away. I'm going to give you guys something pink, okay? But today is on this silver color that I'm doing. The wig for today is from My Fashion Hair, and it is this blonde 613 closure. And of course they gave me a wig cap. So I'm gonna just open it up. I have not opened it up. Y'all still see like everything is just how it came. Um, kind of nervous, a little nervous. I've never worked with this company before. So I'm praying that their hair is good. And of course, by the end of the video, y'all will know because I always give y'all the deeds on the, on the hair, okay? Now, this is what the wig looks like. Um, now it is an ombre like dark roots kind of wig which I mean I don't mind I might go in and fix that because I don't really like the brown and I don't think brown and silver would go but maybe if I darken the roots up to be like a little black I catch my drift y'all here with me all right so it is a closure wig that looks like this it has the three combs the little adjustable band straps things um in the back because I got a little teeny tiny head but it's a 613, 24 inch, nice, cute wig. Um, super soft so far, like running my fingers through it. It's not shutting on my legs, it's not ODing. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm doing it. Of course, I'm using the watercolor method because that is what I go by, that's my holy grail. But yeah, let's see if we can finesse this into a, a silver color, so you guys want to see this hair project keep watching so to start out i'm going to show you guys what i'm using this is the shimmer lights purple shampoo for blonde and like silver hair that's what we're going to use to tone the hair and then to actually like color itself we're going to use the adore 155 titanium this is like a silver gray they also have platinum too but i just got two bottles of titanium so if you know me, you know that I've been, you know, using purple lights or shimmer lights, shampoo, purple shampoo to tone blondes all the time. But this time I did a little bit differently. So I'm starting with a bowl with some hot water and literally put that little bit amount of shampoo, like just a little bit, just so it could turn the water like a light purple. You want it to be very light. I realized that sometimes I'll put too much purple shampoo and then it'll turn the hair gray or give it like a purple tint. Like I hate that. So this time I'm starting out with literally just a little bit of purple shampoo, mixing up, breaking up the particles with a comb. And I just dip my wig right in there. And luckily I was kind of nervous because as I was dipping, I was still checking to make sure that it ain't getting like no purple spots, no silver spots. But honestly, it toned the hair perfectly. So I think this is going to be my new way of turning the hair, toning the hair. I just dip it in there, swish it all around, pull it out, and you get this like white pearl color. There's no yellow in the blonde. That's exactly what you want. So let's move on to color in the hair. Baby, I got a whole new fresh bowl of water. 
I took, I would say, okay, about half the bottle. So I started with half the bottle and I poured it all in there. Now, one thing I fucking hate about a door hair color, bro. Watch when I'm mixing it up. Do you guys see like the little particles in the water? Like they not all the way completely broken up. Sometimes with, I don't know why with this specific hair, um, with this specific hair dye, like the Adore brand, it does that. So I added it a little bit more, mixed it up, and there's still like floaty particles around. Now, if I was to just dip my wig in like that, best believe that that color is going to specifically color a patch of that wig. Like, I don't know, it, it'll pick up on that blotchiness. So um, I added, you know, I would say like three quarters of the bag, I mean, of the bottle dip the wig in there um and i was just testing it out making sure that it doesn't turn purple because as y'all see when i put it in there it does have some purple under or like purplish blue um undertones which is another thing about adore hair color bro they have specific undertones even the black jet black got like blue and green undertones so keep that in mind honestly i would recommend a different brand to go with but adore is just what i was used to I never did no titanium from a door, but I mean, I did my research and I kind of like the color of it, but everybody's different. Um, of course, now you're starting to see that it's starting to turn a little silver, but the inside of the wig didn't. So I just literally did this in increments where I was, I did half the bottle, then three quarters of the bottle, then the full bottle, um, all the way up until the bottle was completely done. And I just kept re-dipping it and re-dipping it because you don't want to start off with a whole bunch of hair dye and then it's like either you run out or it's harder to get rid of the color so if you start in little increments it's better for controlling child every time that i go on ahead and add hair dye i specifically focus on mixing it up with the comb just to break all those particles away um I'm also focusing a lot on the middle of the wig because for some reason that is the hardest to pick up on the dye. Sometimes, you know, you don't get it all. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, I just got done dyeing the wig and this is what it looks like. Now, on camera, I'm pretty sure it looks like a gray silver, but more so in person, it looks kind of blue. And I always, like, have a hard time when I use specific Adore hair colors because sometimes with the door they have different undertones like clearly when i was mixing the water you see the undertone in that is like blue purple so it looks to me to be kind of blue um maybe when it dries because you know when it's wet it's always a little bit darker but when it dries maybe it'll be silver itself but this is what it looks like i don't know if i'm gonna go on ahead and darken up the roots maybe i'll just leave it how it is it all depends but what i'm about to do now is um bleach the knots and pluck it so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what we looking like before we do anything to it. Lace is kind of white. There really is no defined part. Like it's just, yeah, it's just looking like this right now. So we're gonna fix all that, okay? But so far so good. Even combing her out while she had hair dye in her, there was no shedding. There was no like tangling comb was going through easily but yeah this is just what the hairline looks like before i pluck and bleach and do all that good stuff of course i'm going to use my clairol b2w um bw2 sorry bw2 lightener to bleach the knots but once i bleach the knots i probably will make the decision of whether or not i'm going to darken up the roots if i do of course i am going to show you guys that step but so far it's not too bad it looked bad when it was blonde but now that it's gray doesn't do no harm to me so i'm gonna go on ahead and do that and i will come back to you guys to show you guys what the lace looks like once it's already been plucked and bleached all right y'all so i haven't been talking to y'all in my videos lately so i feel like today will be the good day to go on ahead and talk to y'all and just explain to y'all everything without doing a voiceover so this is what she's looking like okay i'm kind of nervous I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like, I'm I'm nervous. But, yeah, this is what she looks like. This is what the color is looking like. It's giving blue in person, like, a crystal, like, icy blue. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll fix it. I don't know. Maybe we will. I don't know. But this is what the hairline looks like after I went on ahead and pluck it. I can show y'all better on my head. So, I, what I'm gonna do right now is just put some makeup in here. The same makeup that I used on my cap. 
which is this Kiss Cover, Cover and Care Cream Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. It looks like this. It matches my skin perfectly for the summer because y'all know it's just getting darker. So I'm taking like a little flat um, angle brush, like a foundation brush, and I'm literally just gonna put it on the inside of the cap. Like, if I can show y'all, okay. Like this. Literally just rub it all on the cap, blah, blah, blah. Now that we have the makeup all on the cap, I'm gonna adjust the straps to make it fit my head. And then I'm gonna put it on my head and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do to install it. Okay. Okay, so I didn't go on ahead and darken up the roots like I said I was going to. I didn't feel like there was no need to even do that. Um, it is what it is. So I'm gonna just take my hot comb and you know, lay everything down. The closure itself is dry. The wig in the back is not like here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Yeah, like y'all see it, it's like kind of blue like blue undertones so i probably will never ever ever use a door hair color again to do this i know kiss has a version of it and i love kiss hair dyes because they smell so good to me like oh my god but yeah i'm gonna just you know flatten it out because y'all know but i don't like no bumpy ass wig okay now normally what i would do is go on ahead and with my lace front tools i would go on ahead now and map out where i want my lace to be so instead of doing that, I'm just gonna cut. Am I gonna cut? Yeah, I'm gonna cut. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my lace now. Boom, 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 zigzags. Definitely wanna go in a zigzag motion. Okay, now that my lace is, hold on, let me cut a little bit more right here. all right once my lace is cut i can visually see where I'm, my lace is going to be so i'm gonna just lift it up a little bit i'm gonna take my uh bowl hold extreme cream make sure that none of the hair is going to get in my way when i am doing this that's really important y'all do not want a messy install so i'm just gonna map it out from like here to here is where i'm gonna put my dots so i'm starting over here And it's super easy to do a lace closure install. So if you're a beginner and you're starting out, definitely easier. I'm gonna take the end of my rat tail and just smooth that all out. You definitely want it to be a thin, even layer. Even if you're applying different um, coats of it, you still want it to be nice and thin and spread out even with the amount that you put on there. So I'm gonna probably do three coats of this, or like three layers of it. Um, maybe not even three, maybe two. No, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna do three, cause I, don't, I want it to be secure. So I'm doing the same thing again. And for me, if your layers are really thin, like if you're coating it, it's really thin, you're spreading it out nice and thin how you're supposed to. By the time you're applying the next one, the other one is already dry so and i don't use a blow dryer no more i literally just use the regular air room temperature air i let that shit just do what it's gonna do but nine times out of ten by the time i do this like the next coat is already done so just going to this boom 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 even layer of lace glue. Okay. That looks good. So sometimes I fan it. So most of the time I just let it do what it's doing. I definitely do not recommend like you can see this is still white. So I do not recommend just putting your wig on just like that even though this kind of is starting to dry faster than this side. Definitely get it all to be clear. Like you don't want to see the lace glue at all. Let it do its thing. Wait a little bit. It's not gonna take that long. 
I know y'all, some people like to brush. You cannot brush when you are doing lace because, child, it will not come out how you want it to and you'll be looking a hot ass mess. Cool. Now it's starting to look really clear. I'm going to pull the wig all the way up to where I had the lace. The lace glue, sorry. And I'm going to push it into my skin. Literally like this. Just to make sure all of the flaps are down. Boom. Now is where I'm going to take my scarf and fold it up to make it like a headband kind of thing. Good. All right. I'm going to put the rest of the back of the hair up because I want it out of my way when I'm trying to do my wrap. But I try to tie my scarf because I don't know why my hands get real stupid <laughs> when I'm trying to tie the back of my scarf and my hair is down. It just be all this compartment. So I'm literally, all right, let me show you guys. I'm literally taking it where the lace begins. So I'm not putting it like right here. I'm just kind of putting it right on top of the lace and then pulling it and I'm gonna tie it like so. Boom. So now what I'm gonna do is probably go get um, a blow dryer brush and dry the rest of the wig and then I'll come back to you guys when the hair is dry and we're ready to actually like work on our baby hairs or style the wig whatever i'm gonna come back to y'all okay so i went on ahead blow dried the hair using this round brush that i have it looks like this and i don't know what to do with it like i'm not feeling the dark roots i feel like for one they let the roots grow out too much. Like if you're gonna do dark roots, I think the roots should stop like right here, not right here, okay? That's my first con about this wig. Second of all, the color is silver up here, more purple in the front, but I feel like the way for me to fix that is to give it some layers and we are gonna curl her up. And I feel like after we do that, you're not even gonna be able to tell. So before I do my baby hairs, um, I did my eyebrows while I was waiting for the curl and iron to heat up. There we go. I was waiting for the curl and iron to heat up. I went ahead and did my brows. So before I do my baby hairs, I'm gonna just quickly, and I mean quickly, show you guys how I curl this wig. So Take like a little section it's not really like a little section job it's like a medium size section and i'm just gonna go back away from my face and now we wait and then i let it go that's what it's looking like and repeat And just remember that I am curling the hair away from my face. That's like number one thing you gotta remember. Curl away from your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my curls. And then I'll come back to you guys when I'm actually ready to do the baby hairs just to speed this process up. I know this looks a little crazy and I feel like it's the dark roots. Like it's fucking with me. But all right, now I'm gonna do my baby hairs. So I'm gonna just, y'all know, take out like a little section of hair. Make sure that it's not too thick. I'm probably only gonna do two baby hairs since it is um, a closure. I'm not gonna go OD on the baby hairs, but you know, just enough. Yeah, I think that's good on that side and then for this side that's good taking an eyebrow razor and i'm just gonna take that off same thing with this side take it off oh, wait i might need to take a little bit more off there we go okay i'm gonna use my gorilla snot gel Put a little bit of it on my finger and boom, apply that 
to the hair. Then I'm taking my comb part of the edge brush and I'm swooping it back. I'm doing the same thing for this side, taking a little bit on my finger, slicking it down, and then swooping it. Okay, now let's see. Mm, something's off. <laughs> Something is off. Let me see. Maybe if I just. Maybe I might have to do three baby hairs instead of two because I was talking shit. And now look, baby hairs don't even look right. I could do like a little, now, 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 what y'all think? Like a little swoop in the middle? No, that's going to look a mess. I don't know. I talk to myself a whole lot when I'm doing my baby hairs because really like, will this look right? Will this look right? Is this going to be okay? But all right, take a little bit, dab it on my hair. Boom. Or maybe I should. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? Now I'm fucking up this side. See? Okay. Now back to you over here. That's just a hot ass fucking mess. Like, no. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. I'm literally on the edge. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. I just have to, like, the tail part of it is too crooked for me. So, I dabbed a little bit more of the Gorilla Snot. That could work. That could work. That could work. That's going to work. I'm not even going to touch it no more because once I touch something, it fucks up. Okay, guys. So, this is the finished look. Honestly, it's not the color that I expected it to be, but... It'll do, and the dark roots, I have, I, they have to grow on me, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe if I had the option of doing myself, then it would be different, but honestly, the only reason why I didn't go ahead and like make them a little bit darker or touch them up myself is because they're all throughout the wig, like the whole wig roots are dark, so I'm like, I'm not about to go on ahead and be digging in this wig to get it all the same color, like no. So I just left it how it is, but I just threw, you know, some curls in there quick. Bada boom, bada bang. So, some pros and cons about the hair. So, pro is that it can be dyed. Um, it tones really good. Um, another pro is that it's super soft, voluminous. Um, yeah, a little bit of the cons. The con is, like I said, the dark roots throws me off. Um, it definitely was not like rooted out properly to me like honestly i feel like if you're doing dark roots they should stop right here or not down here when they're near a half or damn near a half of ombre type shit like i don't know it's just my opinion whatever um another con is that it is minimal shedding so when i say minimal you do get shedding but it's not od um no it does not tangle or anything like that but you know just keep in mind it's blonde hair um i when we bleach the knots it also weakens the knots and everything like that so most of my shedding was from up here another con with this hair is it's a little bit on a thinner side so with me adding some layers to it it looks fuller which is what i like but keep in mind it is on the thin side but yeah, you guys, I'm done rambling. If you guys want to see more pictures of this wig, go at my Instagram at it's slam by tie. I always post pictures of my wigs. Follow me on my TikTok at glam by tie. Um, so y'all can see that because yeah, I also do be coming to y'all with my TikToks. I love TikTok now. 
but I'm done talking. I'm officially now done rambling. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.